Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to your channel, Maths D1, D2, Scientific Academy. Today our lecture is related to chapter 4, which is expansion and factorization of algebraic expression. And your book is New Syllabus Mathematics 2, B2 Maths. Okay, students, uh, the question is factorize each of the following expressions completely. Okay, students. Okay, so before starting the lecture, I would request you that if you want more help regarding your subject, then you can subscribe the channel. Okay, so we have to factorize the expression. Here the expression is given. Okay, students, what you need to do is see is there any number common? Okay, here you can see that x is over here and x is also over here. So it means that the variable x is common. Now see the numbers 45 and 81. How would you find out that there is common in these two numbers? You will see that whether these two numbers are divisible by any number or not. Yes, uh, when you will go on the tables, you will find out that 45 and 81 are divisible by 3 and 9. So, students, what you need to do is uh, whenever you take the common, always go for the greater number. As these two numbers are divisible by 3, but these two numbers are also divisible by 9. So, we will go on the greater table, that is 9. So we will go on 9 and we will take 9 common. Okay. So we will take 9 common. Which time 9 is 45? It's 5 time. And you will also take x variable common because x is present in both terms. So 9 5 is a 45. And 1x we have taken common or 1x is left. This is x care. x care means there are 2x. So 1x you have taken common. So 1x is left. So you will write over here. Alright, now which time 81, okay, which time 9 is 81, 9, 9s are 81, so you write 9 over here, and x you have taken common, now what's left, y is left, so you write y, so this is your answer, I guess I hope that uh, this question is clear to you, now I'm going to explain you part b, and uh, part b is 39xy, Minus 15x square z. Okay, so see that with which number uh, these two numbers are divisible by. As uh, you can see that these two numbers are divisible by 3. So you will take 3 common. And uh, which variable is common? As you can see that x is present in both terms. So you will take x common. The highest power is, the smallest power is 1. So you will take x, just x with power 1 common. So you have taken 3x common. Now what is left? 39. Okay, you have taken 3 common. 3 1s are 3. So 3 is a 9. And you have taken x common. Now what, which variable is left? Just y is left. So you write y over here. Minus 3 5s are 15. And uh, students, here this is x here. x here means there are 2x. 1x we have taken common, 1x is left. And z is also there. You write z. So this is your answer. 3x bracket 13y minus 5xz. Okay, so now let's move forward to C part. Okay, so see that now just variables are given. So you will just see the variables which are common. Remember, while taking the common, remember that you have to take the common here. You can see this is x and this is also x. So x is present in both uh, expressions. But you will take common with the lowest power. Here the power is 2 and here the power is 1. So you will take common with the lowest power. So you will just take x. Here the power is 1. Okay, now let's come to the y square, y term. Here this is y square and this is y cube. Okay. Now see these two variables and see their powers and always take uh, the lowest power. Okay. This is y square and this is y cube. So you will take the variable common which has a lower power. Here the power is cube and here the power is square. So you will take y square. You will not take z common because z is present in this term but it's not present in this term. So you will just take common x y square. Okay, x you have taken common, y square you have taken common, so just z square is left, so write z square. Minus x square you have taken common and y square, here this is y cube and y square you have taken common. y cube means there are 3 y, so it means that if y square you have taken y square common, one y is left, so write that y over here. So this is your answer, x y square bracket z square minus y. 
okay i hope that this is clear to you now let's move forward to d part okay g d part is minus 15 pi x cube y minus 10 pi x cube okay students here uh, see the numbers with which number with which table these two numbers are divisible by here you can see that these two numbers are divisible by 5 so you will take 5 common okay G. now see that okay students uh, here you can see that minus is present with both numbers so you can also take minus common so you have taken minus common so remember that whenever you take the minus sign common sign inside the brackets will be changed so you have taken minus 5 common and now pi is present in both terms so you will take pi common x is present in both terms and here the power is cube in both terms so you will take x cube now y is present over here but y is not present over here so you will not take y common okay students minus 5 which time 5 is 15 it's 3 times here you have taken minus common so you will not write this minus sign inside the bracket because when you take minus common signs inside the bracket will be changed so just you write 5 3s are 15 you have taken pi common you have taken x cube common so just y is left minus 5 2s are 10 okay this minus sign will become plus because you have taken minus common so the signs inside the bracket will be changed you have taken pi common you have taken x cube so just 2 so minus 5 pi x cube bracket um, 3 y plus 2 is your answer Okay, so I hope that question number one is clear to you. Now let's move forward to question number two. Okay, so question number two is factorize each of the following expressions completely. Okay, here you can see that part A is 6ax minus 2y plus 5x minus 2y. Here see this whole term and this whole term. Here you can see that x minus 2y is present in this term and x minus 2y is also present in this term. It means that x minus 2y is common. Now what is left inside it? You have taken x minus 2y common. So just 6a is left. So write 6a over here. Then this plus sign. And x minus 2y is common. So just 5 is left. So write 5 over here. So students, this is your answer. x minus 2y, 6a plus 5. Okay, now let's move forward to part b. And I hope that this is clear to you. This is just simple. You have to take the... Uh, expression common which is present in both terms here you can see that in this term and in this term x minus 2y mm, is common so you have taken x minus 2y common so the terms which are left inside it you will write down those terms okay okay this is 5 6 a plus 5 because 5 is left over here okay now let's come to b part b part is c plus d c plus 2d whole square oh, sorry 2b x plus 3y minus e 3y plus x students see that this is x plus 3y and this is 3y plus x but both are having plus sign here both are having plus sign so you can write this bracket as this is x plus 3y minus c you can write, also write down this bracket as x plus 3y because both are having plus signs so it doesn't matter if you're writing this or in this way okay so now here you can see that x plus 3y is present in this whole term and x plus 3y is present in this whole term so x plus 3y is, is present in both terms so you can take x plus 3y common you will take x plus 3y common now what is left in this term you have taken x plus 3y common so just 2b is left so write 2b over here Okay, see in this term, you have taken x plus 3y common. So what's left? Just c is left. So write c over here. So students, x plus 3y and 2b minus c is your answer. I hope that this is clear to you. Now let's move forward to c part. Okay, students, so in c part here, you can see that fx my, 5x minus y is present in this term. And it's also present in this whole term. So it means that 5x minus y is common. So you will take 5x minus y common. Five x minus y common. Now see in this whole term, you have taken five x minus y common. What's left? Three d is here. So write three d over here. And from this term, you have taken five x minus y common. Now what's left? It's four f is left. So write four f minus 
4. So this is your answer, 5x minus y, 3d minus 4. Now let's come to d part. d part is 5h, x plus 3y, and plus 10k, x plus 3y. Students here see that, see the number, this number and this number. 5 and 10 are divisible by 5. So it means that 5 is common. These two numbers are divisible by 5. So it means that 5 is common. And see, this x plus 3y and x plus 3y. These two terms are present. X plus this term is present in both expressions in these both terms. So uh, x plus 3y is also common. So first I will take 5 common and then I will take x plus 3y common. Okay, I have taken 5 common, so it means that I will just write h and x plus 3y is also common. So just h is left in this whole term. 5 and x plus 3y we have taken common. So what's left over here? Just h is left. So write h. Now I have taken 5 common, so which time 5 is 10, it's 2 times, so I will write 2. x plus 3y is already common, so what's left? k is left. So you write 2k. So students... 5x plus 3y h plus 2k uh, is your answer. Uh, okay, I hope that this question is clear to you. Question number 2 is clear to you. Now I am going to explain you question number 3. Okay, students, question number 3 is factorize each of the following expressions completely. Here you can see the whole expression. Uh, see students, now uh, see the first two terms here, you can see that the first two terms is present. So it means that from the first two terms, we can take a common. So here I am going to take a common. Now what's left? I have taken a common, so just x is left. And here I have taken a common, so just 5 is left. Now this is the plus sign, right? Plus. Okay, what's common in these two terms? Here you can see students that 4 and 20 both are divisible by 4. So um, I can take 4 common. So from these two terms, I am going to take 4 common. Okay, I have taken 4 common, so just x is left over here. And 4, 5 is a 20. Okay, so now see again in the next step here in this whole term and this whole term. These are the two terms. So in these two terms, x minus 5 is present. So uh, we can take x minus 5 again common. So again, we are taking common x minus 5. What is left in this term? Just a is left. And I have taken x minus 5 common, what's left? Just 4 is left. So this is your answer. Okay, x minus 5 and a plus 4. Okay, so now I'm going to explain you b part. b part is ax plus bx. Plus ay plus b by Okay, so here you can see that in these two terms, okay, G, the very first two terms in these two terms, x is common. So I can take x common from the first two terms. So what's left over here, a is left and over here, b is left because I have taken x common. Now this is plus sign, put plus sign. See what's common in these two terms. Here you can see that y is present in these both terms. So I will take y common. Now what's left over here, a is left and over here, b is left. So students again, you can see that in these two terms, a plus b is common. So you will take a plus b common. Okay, so what's left put over here? Just x is left. And what is left over here? Y is left. So a plus b and x plus y are common. Is x plus y, okay. A plus b is common and what's left? X and y. So a plus b, x plus y is your answer. I hope that this is clear to you. Now let's move forward to C part. Okay, students. So what's common in the first two terms? Here you can see that x plus x plus y. In these two terms, x is common. So you will take x common. So what's left over here? Just one is left. x ones are x. And over here you have taken x common. So just y is left. So you write y. Y plus 1. Here 2y is common. Because 2 is present in both terms and y is also present in these two terms. From the first two terms, I have taken x common. And from the last two terms, I have taken 2y common because 2y is present in these both terms. So what's left over here? 2y, 1 is a 2y. And y, 1y I have taken common, so just 1y is left. This is y square, so it means that they are 2y. 1y you have taken common, so just 1y is left. 
So since here you can see that in these two terms, in these two terms, one plus y is common. In these two terms, one plus y is present. So I can take one plus y common. You can write one plus y and you can write y plus one. Both are same. Okay, it doesn't matter. So what's left in this term? You have taken one plus y common, so x is left. And from this term, you have taken 1 plus y common, so 2y is left. So, 1 plus y and x plus 2y is your answer. I hope that this is clear to you. Now, let's move forward to the last part of question number 3. Alright, this is x square minus 3x plus 2xy minus 6y. Okay, students, from the first two terms here, you can see that x is present in these two terms. So, I can take x common. Okay, as I have told you that whenever you are having the variables with power, so go for the lower power. Here the power is 2 and here the power is 1. So, I will go with this power, x. Okay, this is x here, 1 x is, uh, I have taken 1 x common, so just 1 x is left. So, write that x over here. I have taken x common, so over here 3 is left. So, write 3. Okay, now from these two terms here you can see that 2 and 6 both numbers are divisible by 2. So I will take 2 common. And now see the variables y is present in these two terms. So I will take y common. Okay, so I have taken 2y common from here. So just x is left. So you write x. And 2, 3 is 6 and y is already common. So just x minus 3. Now from these two terms you can see that x minus 3 is present in this whole term and in this whole term. So you will take x minus 3. Common. So what's left over here? Just x is left and over here 2y is left. So you would write 2y. So x minus 3y and x plus 2y is your answer. Okay, students, so I hope that uh, today's lecture is clear to you. And take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.